Greetings everyone, uh, this is IT2 again, back on the YouTubes for one more video. I'm not back, I'm not officially back, I'm just, uh, I wanted to make a video to tell you guys about this awesome new game I found, and I was going to make some game footage of it, which I did, I put some on Blip, and I tried to redo it, and my fraps just can't handle the game. The graphics aren't that good actually, it's just that, I don't know, my fraps is really shitty, it drops my frame rate, and the game really requires a lot of technique and finesse and skills, so... If you turn the fraps off, I don't look as awesome as I actually am. I'm actually quite good at this game. Sort of. Um, but anyway. Hopefully, I look the same as I did before. Well, it's been like six, eight, ten months or something since I made a video. It not been that long. It was like April, June, something like that. I'm like, what, YouTube? I did get this. This is pretty awesome. I found it on Amazon. I'm like interested in biology and stuff. So I thought, this is like... $1,100 microscope, and I got it for 195 It was on sale 85% off. I was like, shit, I've got to get a microscope. Haven't really used it for anything except to look at some of the styrofoam packaging material that came in, but other than that, everything's pretty much the same with me. Anyway, um, this game, Crimecraft Bleed Out, is on Steam. It was pay to play up until about two, three months ago, and it went free. And it's a third person shooter. MMO FPS. It is really twitchy. It doesn't have a cover system, but it is kind of like Gears of War. It's kind of like APB, very much similar to APB, except there's no cars. And it's a lot smoother. It's a lot trickier. Like you can do three different kinds of knifing. So if you want to be a knifer, you can do it kind of like Call of Duty ish. And it kind of reminds me of Samp a little bit. And it kind of reminds me of like a lot of different games all combined into one. Soldat. The hit detection and the guns reminds me of Soldat a little bit, but it's not at all like a 2D. It doesn't have any jetpacks or anything like that. But the game, you can craft, like you can do gunsmithing, engineering, tailoring, or chemistry. Like you have boosts, you can give yourself heals or damage bonuses or certain kind of boosts. You can augment things. You can customize your weapons and put different colors camo on them. You can put stocks, sights, stuff like that on it that improves the weapon. And like the really good weapons have like five or six slots, so you can add more and more stuff to it. I've got a little group of people playing, me and Yamatsu, and trying to get Taco in a plan. Spam's playing. I think Twiggy plays a little bit. There's a few people, but it's never like a big group. I want to get like four or five people on at once so we can play some serious games. And to get all the professions, because once I get level 35, my gunsmithing, I have to go either one way or another. There's two different types. Like you branch off, so I need somebody else to be a gunsmith. And need people to make clothes because Yamatsu's not been playing. He's a tailor. So yeah, I need a lot of those people to play this. And um, here's why I think you'll want to play this: the balance, the skills, the let's say you're a sniper, right? You can have a high damage, low reload sniper, or you can have a quick, like firing sniper with lower damage. It takes like two shots to kill instead of like one shot and waiting and one shot. Or you can get a counter to that. You can get the blast helmet which reduces your headshot damage, or you can get the liquid armor, which reduces your total damage, so you can really like outlive snipers. Or let's say you want to throw a smoke grenade to avoid the sniper, you can also augment the smoke grenade with your ability modifier, which is like smoke does damage. So it does a little bit tiny bit of damage, but if somebody's invisible and they're going through the smoke, you hear them grunting, so you know they're coming through there. Or somebody puts down a proximity mine, you can be an explosive specialist that can disarm proximity mines. Or, what's the other thing? Like, if there's rockets and grenade launchers in the game, but they're not really that good, they don't, they're not overpowered, and you can also upgrade those into cluster rockets or cluster grenades. And, like, I had a grenade launcher today, I didn't realize how it worked, because I kept shooting it, and it kept smacking people in the head, doing zero damage. I'm like, what the fuck's up with this? But it's one of those smart grenades where you got to click it, and then right-click it to blow it up whenever you want to blow it up, so you can, like do it like kind of like TF2. It actually is a little bit of TF2 elements of this game, I guess, too. Uh, there's a lot of different game modes. There's shootouts, which is team deathmatch, and there's riots, which is everybody from self. And there's one that's kind of like headquarters, and then there is some PvE, some defense, and you get waves of different kinds of enemies coming in. And uh, what's the other one? Oh, um, stockpile, where you go around, you just fight off crazy enemies that are in groups and you get the loot that they're protecting and 
It's pretty neat. You go around like in this little city in between matches, and there's like mailbox, and you get your mail from it. And there's a bank ATM thing. And there's a bank in there. You go talk to shop owners, and you, there's like three different parts of the city you can take buses to, sort of, and quests all over the place, and missions, and then there's jobs, which is like kill so many of a certain type of enemy or with a certain type of gun. Pretty much like Call of Duty, uh, what you call it, the training that gives you perks and power ups or whatever. But you got to select them before you go into the fight, so you got to like figure out what you're going to be doing in order to maximize the uh, benefits of it. It's really neat. Keeps you busy. That with all the crafting and everything else you got to do. Uh, there is like a subscription service, so there are people that have like some crazy looking gear, but it's not really enough to overpower you, per se, unless they're like crazy high level and they have skills you don't have. Um, you do get to play the first episode. There's like eight or nine episodes, and the other ones you have to buy with money. But you can earn in-game money by competing in tournaments. Like you hit the T button. There's all these like Sweet 16 style tournament brackets with all these different gangs and people on them. And it's like a daily thing. And I guess there's a weekly one too that you get rewards from. And I was playing the other day and they started the tournament up. And it's like one of the pay phones started ringing next to me. And there's fireworks going off over the skyscraper. And there's like this marquee. It was saying tournament starting and everything. It was pretty awesome. And, like, the sound in the game is pretty neat, too. Like, you can sound horror pretty good. And, like, if you walk up next to a car and it's raining, you can hear the water smacking on the car and back away and it gets quieter. It's pretty neat. Um, I'm going to put a video that shows some actual PvP gameplay, since I can actually record a good video, in the description if you want to check out what it looks like. Although it doesn't really show any sniping. And, uh, if you want to check out PvE, check out my video on Blip that I made. Um, pretty much I think that covers just about everything I wanted to talk about. Anyway, Crimecraft Bleed Out, it's on Steam, it's free. Why not check it out? And if you do, we're on the Eureka server, and I'm Tito Darnton on there. And spam is spam, and Yumatsu is Yumatsu, and whoever else will figure out along the way if you want to add me. End game. There's also like a tutorial mode, which is really easy. So if you think the game's too easy, once you get out of tutorial, it gets hard as shit. And that's up to like level 8. Until you go into actual the city. Although you might want to make one character and just leave him in tutorial mode like I did because it's way better for farming like ammo clip things and clothes. You get some really good loot out of it. Other than that, I've just been playing uh, Dungeon Defenders, which is a pretty awesome tower defense game that was really cheap. I pre ordered it like last year and it finally came out. A lot of people have been on playing it on Steam. So I have that and I also have Payday the Heist, which is pretty much Love for Dead with bank robberies instead of zombies. There's probably more cops in that game than there are zombies in Left 4 Dead, which is crazy. And I didn't even realize I got Left 4 Dead 2 on Steam. I didn't even know. Didn't even install it until yesterday. I was like, where the hell did that come from? So I got that to play, and I'm playing a lot of Vindictus, as always. I'm up to, like, level 60 on there. I pre-ordered Batman Arkham City, and also somebody from the Netherlands just decided to buy me a free game on Steam. And I was like, uh, Modern Warfare 3, please. So I got that. I still got Crisis 2 to finish and Homeland and a bunch of sh fucking other games. So there's like a ton of them. So that's what I've been doing. Um, if you want to keep up with my videos that I've been putting on Blip, I've been putting them on Facebook and Twitter posts whenever I put them up. I don't make that many, but when I do, that's how you'll find out about them.